Have you ever found yourself asking, why is it so hard to find a good man these days? Is it just a stroke of bad luck, or perhaps something more complex? Today we're diving deep into the intricacies of the modern dating world to uncover the truth behind this all-too-common question. If you haven't subscribed yet to keep up with the latest tips on building a healthy and fulfilling relationship, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more content that matters to you. Do you have a relationship question or topic you'd like us to cover? Drop it in the comments below. Number 1. The Hookup Culture Let's begin with a phenomenon that's impossible to ignore. The hookup culture. In recent years, dating has undeniably shifted towards more casual encounters. Swipe left, swipe right. These actions have become synonymous with modern love. Or perhaps, the lack thereof. But what impact does this trend have on those seeking a deeper, more meaningful connection? This rise in casual dating can blur the lines between a temporary fling and a committed partnership. It challenges us to question what we truly seek from our romantic relationships. Are we adapting to a new norm of fleeting connections, or is there still a yearning for something more substantial, more enduring? As we navigate this landscape, the quest for a good man becomes intertwined with understanding our own needs and desires in the face of changing dating dynamics. Are we losing the art of building lasting relationships or simply evolving in how we find love? Number 2. Intimidation by Strong Women Next, let's address a compelling topic in the realm of modern relationships, the presence of strong, independent women. It's a narrative we've often heard that men might feel intimidated by women who exhibit success and strength. But is this just a stereotype or does it have roots in reality? In a world where women are increasingly taking the lead in many spheres of life, how does this shift impact the dynamics of dating? Are these societal changes affecting how men perceive potential partners who are assertive and self-reliant? This discussion isn't about assigning blame or drawing lines. Rather, it's about understanding how evolving gender roles and expectations are shaping the way we form connections. How do strength and independence intersect with vulnerability and partnership in the dance of modern romance? Number 3. The Man-Child Phenomenon Now let's turn our attention to a term that's become increasingly popular in dating discussions. The Man-Child. This concept refers to adult men who shirk traditional responsibilities in favor of a more carefree, often immature lifestyle. But what does this growing trend reveal about the state of maturity among modern men and how might it be affecting your quest for a committed relationship? It's important to distinguish between someone who simply enjoys youthful hobbies and a true man-child who avoids adult responsibilities. In the complex world of dating, how does this distinction play a role in finding a partner who's ready for a serious commitment? While it's easy to label and dismiss, Understanding the underlying reasons for this behavior is crucial. Is it a fear of commitment? A result of societal shifts or something else entirely? And how can you navigate this terrain to find a partner who matches your level of maturity and readiness for a lasting relationship? Number 4. Emotional Baggage As we continue our journey through the complexities of modern dating, let's address a universal truth. Emotional Baggage each one of us carries the weight of our past experiences, shaping how we approach relationships today. How does this emotional baggage from both partners influence the quest for a stable, healthy relationship? Emotional baggage can come in many forms. Past heartbreaks, trust issues, unresolved conflicts, or even deep-seated fears. These unseen burdens can heavily impact how we connect, trust, and build a future with someone new. Acknowledging and understanding our emotional baggage is a crucial step towards healing and preparing ourselves for a new relationship. It's about finding the balance between learning from the past and not letting it overshadow the present. Remember, the goal isn't to find someone baggage-free, that's unrealistic. It's about finding someone who's willing to help you unpack, understand, and grow together. Number 5. Chasing Perfection 
let's explore another intriguing aspect of the dating puzzle, the pursuit of perfection. In the search for Mr. Perfect, are we setting ourselves up for disappointment with unrealistic expectations? How does this endless chase impact our ability to find and appreciate Mr. Right? In a world influenced by romantic comedies and fairy tales, it's easy to imagine a partner who ticks every box, charming, understanding, successful, attractive. But the truth often lies in a more nuanced, less picture-perfect reality. Perfection in a partner is not just an unrealistic goal, it can be a barrier to forming genuine connections. When we fixate on an idealized image, we might overlook someone who, though not flawless, is perfectly suited for us. Embracing the imperfections, both in ourselves and in others, opens the door to more authentic and fulfilling relationships. It's about finding someone whose flaws don't diminish your connection, but rather add to the unique tapestry of your relationship. Number 6. Sweeting the Small Stuff Now, let's delve into the subtleties of relationships, particularly the small details. Often, it's the little things that catch our attention and sometimes our ire. But are these minor imperfections and quirks really worth the weight we give them? Could our focus on these small issues be a stumbling block in the path to finding and nurturing love? In the pursuit of a harmonious relationship, it's easy to lose perspective and allow small habits or preferences to overshadow the larger picture. What starts as a minor annoyance can snowball into a significant obstacle, clouding our judgment and affecting our feelings. Understanding why we fixate on these minor details is key. Is it about the issue itself, or is it reflective of deeper needs or concerns in the relationship? Learning to differentiate between significant issues and trivial matters can be a crucial step in building a stronger, more resilient bond. Remember, in the grand tapestry of a relationship, it's often the bigger picture that truly counts. Embracing imperfections, both in ourselves and in our partners, can lead to a more authentic, understanding, and ultimately, loving connection. Number 7. The Desperation Dilemma Another delicate aspect of the dating scene is what I like to call the desperation dilemma. Desperation, often borny, from a deep desire for connection, can inadvertently sabotage our dating efforts. Let's explore how signs of desperation might be perceived by potential partners and how we can navigate away from this pitfall. The line between showing genuine interest and appearing desperate can sometimes be thin. Desperation can manifest in ways we don't always recognize, be it compromising our standards, overlooking red flags, or investing too much, too soon. It's essential to understand that desperation often stems from a place of insecurity or a fear of being alone. Recognizing and addressing these underlying emotions is a crucial step toward developing a healthier approach to dating. The key is to find a balance, being open and honest about your intentions and feelings while maintaining a sense of self-respect and independence. Remember, a healthy relationship is built on mutual interest and respect, not on the urgency of filling a void. Number 8. The Effort Factor as we approach the conclusion of our exploration, it's crucial to reflect on a fundamental aspect of dating, the effort factor. Are you truly putting yourself out there? Let's dive into the significance of effort and proactivity in your journey to find a meaningful connection. Finding love often requires more than just waiting for the right person to come along. It's about actively creating opportunities, stepping out of your comfort zone, and being open to new experiences. Proactivity in dating doesn't mean desperately searching for anyone to fill a void. It's about intentionally putting yourself in environments where you can meet potential partners who share your interests and values. Remember, effort in dating also means being prepared emotionally. It's about knowing what you want, understanding your worth, and not settling for less than you deserve. As we wrap up our exploration, it's clear that finding a good man in today's world extends far beyond mere luck. It's about understanding the nuances and complexities of modern dating. From navigating the hookup culture, 
to appreciating the beauty of imperfections. Each aspect we've discussed plays a crucial role in shaping your journey towards a fulfilling relationship. Remember, every step you take in this journey is an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. Whether it's re-evaluating your expectations, embracing vulnerability, or simply putting in the effort to meet new people, each action brings you closer to the love you seek. So let's navigate this complex world of modern relationships together, one step at a time, with patience, understanding, and an open heart. The path to finding a good man and a healthy loving relationship is within your reach. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications for new videos. See you again soon.